Hello beautiful people, it is your girl Albie here. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time hanging out with me, welcome. I'm happy you're here to hang out with me. Today I am doing a quick update on a bathroom refresh that I started working on. I wanted to just kind of loop you guys in on what I'm doing to really take my rental bathroom from feeling dated and boring to something a lot more hygge inspired, spa-like, and tranquil. It is a rental, but that doesn't mean there aren't things that I can do to make it feel a little bit personable and just a little bit more like something that's ours and really just a more peaceful place to start and end the day. So I'm going to take you guys through some of the updates that I've made already and plans that I have going forward. So When we moved into the condo, the only things that we did was adding shelving to the wall, switching out the shower head, adding a curved shower bar, and adding a over the door hook. So we focused our initial efforts really just on storage and then nothing else. With this update, I really wanted to focus on not only making the bathroom look better, but also function better. The first quick fix was resurfacing the counter. The brown laminate dated the space. And while there was nothing necessarily wrong with it, it just wasn't our style and it's not something that we wanted to live with if we had a choice. So I decided to get some marble contact paper and resurface the space. If you are interested in seeing this quick and easy, and I use the term easy very loosely, but this quick DIY, I will link the video up above as well as in the description box below. Once I finished resurfacing the counter, I noticed an immediate change in the overall vibe of the space. The next thing I got to work on was the storage. The wall shelving, yes, it did store everything, but it constantly looked like a cluttered, dysfunctional mess. So I tackled that by just switching out all the product bottles to these glass jar bottles. Making this switch and using these stylus storage solutions helped everything just look cleaner and more visually appealing. I switched out the product bottles that were also in the shower for a more uniform, curated look. The next thing I tackled was the unseen storage because while it's not something that we were seeing, it was still something that was contributing to the dysfunctionality of the space. Using baskets that we already had and then new baskets that I went out and purchased, I really made the hidden storage a lot more functionable and manageable adding to the overall tranquility of the space. The last thing that I did was switch out all of the textiles and then layer in accessories. While I wanted it to have a clean spa-like feel, I also wanted it to be Huga inspired and really have elements of coziness. Keeping this curated set of towels on hand really added an element of coziness to the bathroom while layering in accessories that had those same pops of color helped in bringing the huga into my bathroom. Bringing in a clock was not only a pragmatic decision, but it was also an aesthetic one with the gold trim, really adding a pop of glam, but in a very subtle and subdued way. The last bit of huga was by introducing these LED candles 
These not only help with really soft lighting for those spa nights, but they also serve as really great night lights. We did have permission to paint the bathroom. That's not something we wanted to do. However, I am looking into possibly wallpapering it, but that's still TBD. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tour slash update of my bathroom rental. It is still a work in progress. Obviously, there are things that require more time. There are things that I just kind of want to live with for a little bit to see how it improves our function and our day to day. And just overall, to see how things are serving us. I am excited to keep working on our bathroom and to keep sharing the progress with you. If you enjoy these types of videos, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and then let me know in the comments whether you're a renter, a homeowner, what you would do to make your bathroom just feel way more hygge inspired, spa-like, and tranquil. Thank you for hanging out with me today. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!